and uh, God initiated marriage in the Garden of Eden. Jesus himself honored marriage at the wedding of Canaan. Therefore, we must honor marriage. And we should enter into it not lightly or unadvisedly, but reverently in the fear of God, considering the consequences of marriage and responsibilities as it is ordained. God ordained marriage for mutual company for the comfort of men and women, on which now Brother Laven and Sister Lorivel have come to be joined. You may be seated. Thank you for standing. We will love her, comfort her, honor her, and stay with her in sickness or in health, forsaking all others, and keep her so long as she walk shall live. Yes, I do. Sister Lorivel, will you have Brother Love and Way to be your lawful with husband in the fear of God, in the front of his witnesses, in holy matrimony, we will love him, comfort him, honor him, and stay with him in sickness or in health, and forsaking all others, and keep him so long as you both shall be. Thank you for standing in For I speak to them that know the law, how does the law have dominion over a man as long as he liveth? For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth. But if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. So then, if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from the law, so that she is no adulteress. Though she be married to another man. Hebrews 13, verse 4 Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but hormones and adulterers, God will judge. You may be seated.
Thank you for watching and thank you for joining us. Congratulations, Sister Loribel and Brother Lavin Special thanks to Miss Javelin Marcos, our camera girl.